Hello everybody, my name is Steve Yoder. I'm going to be your professor in Legal Studies 246, the legal environment of business, in the summer of 2018 here at the UAB Collat School of Business. This is my brief introduction of myself and I'm looking forward to all of you introducing yourselves to me. As you'll see in this course, I have an agenda for each one of our classes and for each short video that I might prepare for you. This is the way things operate in the business world for meetings. You agree up front what you're trying to accomplish, you stick to the agenda, and when you're finished with the agenda, you move on to your next meeting or whatever that might be. So here's the agenda for this quick video. My background, how I bring my business experience to you, the importance of your keeping up with this course over the 14 weeks of the course, and a little bit about what I do outside of class. My professional background, I received my undergraduate degree in political science from Duke University. I immediately went from college to law school at Northwestern University School of Law in Chicago. My first job was one I stayed at for 10 years at a large Pennsylvania-based law firm, Reed Smith. To the surprise of many, including myself, after 10 years at that law firm, I went to the firm's largest banking client, which then was called Mellon Bank. Today, it has merged with Bank of New York, and it's known as BNY Mellon. The image that you see of the building in the lower left is the building that I worked in when the bank was headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today that bank is headquartered in New York City. I left Mellon Bank in 1995 to take a job in a city and state that I had never set foot in before, and that would, was Birmingham, Alabama. I became the general counsel of AmSouth Bank. AmSouth merged about 10 years later with Regions Bank. I, for a brief period of a year or two, joined the Birmingham-based law firm of Balch and Bingham, where I practiced banking law. But I heard the call in 2007-2008 to go into higher education, and I thought I was going to be a college professor for whatever the rest of my professional years were. But again, to my surprise, moral of the story, seize opportunities when they come along, even if you're not expecting them. To my surprise, I began to do human resources related work for UAB, and today I am doing that substantially full time. My office is actually in the administration building for UAB, and I work for the provost, the senior vice president and provost of UAB, Pam Benoit, who's pictured there in the lower right. The provost is the chief academic officer of a university, and my title is associate provost for academic administration. I do a lot of work with the deans of the various schools at UAB, and in particular with the faculty of those schools. So I still have a great deal of law in what I do every day, even though I am no longer practicing law and I'm no longer actually at a for-profit business. UAB in its own way is very much an enterprise, even if you don't call it a business, with some very, very interesting legal challenges that uh, you would expect from a complex organization. With that background, I think I have the right experience to help you learn at this stage in your business careers about the many laws that affect business. You can see here this graphic from chapter one of your textbook. We'll be looking at this in the preview video for the first week as well. You can just see the broad array of legal topics that affect business decision making. Uh, not on here would be human resources related law, but that's very much what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in my job as associate provost. Also from my business background, I try to teach you about being a professional, including how to communicate professionally. If you look in the syllabus in this course, you'll find a video that's intended to be humorous. Please don't be offended by it, but it's by a it's posted by a professor at an unnamed university. Uh, it is an actual 
email that he got from a student who goes uh, by the email address cartmanrules99, lesson number one from this. Don't have a email address like Cartman Rules. It just signifies that you're not taking life seriously and you're not acting professionally. Look at that greeting. Hey, no, nobody uses the word hey in a business greeting. Look at the very first letter, I am, lowercase i, no. Look at the emojis, no. Look at that first sentence, I am in your class this semester. Really, I wonder how many classes that faculty member has. He hasn't identified which class. Do I have to buy the book? I hope you know the answer to that is yes, you do. LOL, exclamation point. Really not sure both parties to that email agree that that uh, uh, statement that he just made was really all that funny. Be professional. You will never go wrong if you send an email to your boss or someone else in your professional life. Dear Professor Yoder, dear Mr. Yoder, whatever it might be, you will never go wrong. He or she might tell you, oh, call me Bob. I highly doubt that anyone is going to tell me, tell you, uh, oh, start your emails with hey. So I'm trying to be uh, realistic with you. I'm not trying to be mean, but please, please observe the uh, rules that you'll see in that particular video. I use technology in this course, including VoiceThread. I'm going to be asking that you introduce yourselves to me using a tool that's embedded inside Canvas. Do not go to www.voicethread.com. Uh, go to the VoiceThread board that's embedded inside the Getting Started Learning Module. Click there and it will ask you to register. Please register using your first and last name and you must upload your profile picture there. Then I will be asking you to introduce yourselves using the prompts that you see here. Other technology that I use. I think many people are visual learners and we like to have a mixture of both uh, visual and uh, reading assignments. I use NBC Learn. Of course, I use Canvas. I use it very much. Everything is inside Canvas in this course. And I use YouTube as evidenced by the fact that this video is produced on YouTube. I try to keep up with current events. Uh, to do that, I create some extra credit opportunities using uh, legal developments that are in the news. For example, coming up, we'll see that President Trump's uh, ban on immigration and travel from certain countries is being challenged as violating the United States Constitution. Not this week, but in future weeks, there will be extra credit opportunities that you can fulfill by sending me a Canvas mail message. It's the only way to get credit for those points. Please don't ask me at the end of the semester, oh, how did I go about getting those extra credit points? This is how you do it. President Trump has made a big, big difference in the law. Virtually every week something comes out where he has changed some law and that law might affect business. We'll be looking at a number of them, including his travel ban that I just mentioned. Finally, a little bit about me outside of class. I enjoy gardening. I have two dogs. There's one of them uh, sunning himself. He's a Jack Russell we rescued from North Carolina two years ago. His name is uh, Opie. That's my backyard. But what is really important to me is my family. Uh, my uh, immediate family is my wife and me. We're the two who are seated in the chairs. We have three daughters who are scattered among the uh, faces that you see there. Uh, each of those daughters is married and their sons-in-law are scattered among the faces you see there. And although this picture is a little bit out of date, we now have six grandchildren. And that is the center of our lives. Uh, by the way, I met my wife, Louise, who's seated in that chair. I met her the first day of law school in contracts class, where we, where we were seated next to each other alphabetically. And we've been married for 40 years. The other people in this picture, by the way, include people you don't care about, but two of my sisters and some nieces and nephews. In any event, I am looking forward to being your professor in Legal Studies 246 this summer, and I wish you good luck in the course.